Welcome to Adams Farm Foods. In today's video, we are going to learn about business plans for pig farming. Pig farming business is immensely profitable and farmers are trying their hands on this new venture. However, you must have adequate knowledge about how to start or how to proceed before you really start dipping your feet into pig farming. It is necessary to have a good idea about pig farming before starting. Every successful farmer should have a good management skill and then know how to raise pigs. If you are looking to start a pig farming business, you would need to develop a well thought out plan for the big business. However, having a plan will provide you with a structure and ensure every aspect of your business remains organized. If you are new to this field, there is no need to worry as this business plan will discuss everything from building a pen um, to managing it. Following a, following a particular system helps you to stay focused. It is important to ensure that you do not fail in pig farming venture by following a, a system that has been proven to be successful. Mostly, follow a proven system that works. As mentioned before, pig farming is increasingly lucrative business. Still, before you venture into this field, you will need to consider the elements like having ample land. If you do not have access to land, you need, you, you need to find ways to either rent it or better still, start with what you have and then expand into it. If you have one acre farmland somewhere, you can successfully start something on that land. And as the pig farming business grows, buy more land if necessary, and then slowly grow into that. To be successful, you will need to have a good selection of pig breeds. Draw up a care plan that highlights managing the farm and well thought out marketing strategies for the pigs when they are ready to be sold. It is advisable to have money when starting a piggery. However, you don't need all the millions in the world to start. You can start small. You can even start with two uh, breeder pigs and then grow them. And then some people like um, can borrow a start like a, a boa and then um, use that boa to help breed their female uh, guilds. And then um, what they can then do is they say, okay, what we do is we give you one of our breeds. So as the, the piglets are born, they when they are ready to be weaned off, you give the person that you borrowed the boa from, you give them at least one of your piglets, and then they take it as a payment for you borrowing their pig. As mentioned earlier, it is advisable to have quite a lot of money when starting a piggery. However, it is not all that be all. It is um, not essentially necessary. You can start small and improve your business over time. That said, let us discuss some critical factors you will need to consider for building a pig farm. Some of the critical criteria to consider when starting a piggery are as follows. Acquisition of land, building of the pens, sourcing for food for the pigs, obtaining capital, sourcing for market to sell your pigs. These are some of the basic factors to consider before starting your piggery business. The list above are not in order but they depend on each other. Land for the pig farm. Land is required to erect the building or the pig style. When building the style, the building needs to be sloppy to make cleaning easier. Think of waste management before starting to build. Make the building in a way that when you're cleaning, the water slopes towards um, your exit point to make it easier for whoever is cleaning to clean it. 
Always bear in mind waste management and how best to look after the environment. If you are thinking of spreading the manure, it will be best to locate your farm away from areas where there is sea or rivers to avoid contaminating the water. You do not uh, need to channel your waste into streams thinking that it will be easier. Don't forget, uh, the manure is full of nitrogen and eventually it will be too much for whatever living organisms in that place. However, if you dig a place for the manure or use a biogas system, you can have a water source close by due to you not contaminating it. It will be necessary to make sure that your manure management is done in a way that you're not destroying the environment, but rather you are enhancing it. So if you manage it well, you can use that manure to actually turn it around into fertilizer that the soil will actually love. It will also help if you assess multiple lands suitable for pig farm management system. Every aspiring pig farm owner should also consider locating their farms or their farming projects near good roads to minimize cost and provide farmers with easy access to their pro projects. For me personally, I use biogas as a way of waste management. With the biogas, I'm able to get liquid fertilizer from it, which I use to fertilize my crops. I'm also able to get um, gas from it, which my workers and myself use to do a, quite a lot of cooking. And we are trying, or well, I'm trying my hands on turning the gas or using the gas to generate electricity for the farm. It does not matter what type of pig farming you're doing, whether it's intensive or whether it's the pastured um, type of pig farming where the pigs are left to roam around and come back in as freely as they want. What you need to bear in mind is when building a pig farm, you need to have a structure in place where it is very airy for the pigs. Mature pigs don't sweat, so they need a, um, a place where it's roomy and at the same time too is airy so that they can feel comfortable. The more comfortable a pig is, the bigger they get and the faster they grow for you to actually be able to sell them on. Most farmers tend to separate their pigs into different groups. However, guilds or the female pigs can share a pen. It is advisable to separate all male pigs as they whenever they reach, they start to reach sexual maturity to avoid them fighting. Boas start to fight and compete for the attention of females and therefore separation uh, makes them easier to contain them and stop that infighting. Of course, you will need spacious and well-built houses for the pigs. They start to become more expensive when you start to separate them Meal, one meal for one house, one meal for another house, more meal for another house. But the females can be grouped into one area. It will make managing them easier though, which will then reduce their mortality rate and their growth rate will also increase, which will then enhance your profitability. Remember, every pig has a different growth uh, stage. The one thing you need to also remember now is piglets do not do well in low temperature areas. They do not have enough fat around them to keep them warm. Therefore, you need to have a structure in mind where you are going to keep your piglets warm. Are you going to keep the piglets with their mom for a longer period of time for the mom to try and keep them warm for you? Or are you going to have some kind of... Um, a lighting system where you're providing them with heat so that the, the piglets um, can stay warm. It is best to keep uh, um, the pigs in a, in a warm and secure area, ensuring that they do not only survive, but they thrive and grow faster for you. 
On the other hand, mature pigs do not do well in high temperature areas. The style has to be well ventilated and avoid keeping the pigs and protect them against unfavorable weather conditions like um, cold winds and continuous rain. When you've built your pen, you need to make sure that you provide a warm area for your piglets and a very airy area for the mature pigs. So when you start thinking about weaning your piglets off, where are you, are you going to wean them to? Are you going to wean them to the same structure as their mature parents or a slightly warmer area? Because their first zero to at least two months, they need warmth as they, they try to build their fat around the body. They need to be kept warm. So find a way to try and keep them warm when you wean them off. If you are using sawdust or rice hull as the bedding for the pigs, you need to develop a system where you turn the sawdust every now and then. It can be at least once every two weeks. You turn them and you add some fresh sawdust onto the already existing one. You keep adding and adding until you move the, pig, the pigs on. So you can have a way of say, okay, every three months, I'm getting rid of this sawdust and then give them a fresh one completely to start afresh. So when you get rid of that one, you put it somewhere and turn that into a very rich man manure pile where you can compost it and then use that compost as a, a very organic fertilizer for your um, plants. This is a two-part video. Part two will be coming up next week. If you're here for the very first time, my name is Eric Adams. Welcome to Adams Farm Foods. Do well to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, and see you next week.